improving to 3-0 in the preseason, the Warriors inched out a victory against the Sacramento Kings. Down 12 with 16 minutes remaining, they were outplayed for a majority of the game, but with Jonathan Kaminga and Moses Moody's evident progression shining through and the Hawaii hero Lindy Waters III taking over from there, the Dubs had enough to get it done. Honoring Stephen Curry with a gold medal ceremony pre-game, Wardell's coming off a performance in Paris that showcased he can still carry a team. While Steph had just 6 points in 16 minutes, his new splash brother and buddy Heald, combined with fellow first-year Warriors in DeAnthony Melton and Kyle Anderson, to match the 23-point total of Moody, whose fellow fourth-year phenom Jonathan Kaminga dropped 19-7. and Kaminga was decisive and slick, hitting several deadly pull-up triples in the process. All around, Golden State is looking revamped. Here's how Moses Moody led the way in 25 minutes of action. Moody kicked off his night by catching a floater pass in transition from Curry, up faking to get Keon Ellis jumping, then fending off the pressure of he, Keegan Murray, and DeMontis Sabonis for the finish. After GP2 slips across screen, DeMar DeRozan and Ellis fail to communicate, leaving Moody wide open in the left corner to receive another Curry dime. Here, it's Moses catching Mason Jones ball watching in semi-transition by cutting back door on a wide angle, gathering the bouncer from Steph, and embracing the trailing pressure of Jones for the and one. Next offensive possession for the Warriors sees Moses take it coast to coast with his improved handle before instantly driving into an in and out move to attack Sabonis in space, leading to him drawing the foul and hitting a pair. Kick and relocate with Loondog sees Moses part the Red Sea by utilizing the Kavan screen and pulling up from the foul line. Amidst this showing from Moody, despite there being 11 on the shot clock right here, Buddy Heald would fly around to receive a loony cross screen and all in one motion while gathering the Kyle Anderson baseline out of bounds, chuck up an off-balance one-legged prayer that falls through. Some tough shot making right there. From tough shot making to facilitating, Brandon Pajemski would pull off something he did a few games earlier to set up GP2 by lacing a ridiculous traffic weaving overhead bouncing bullet pass to find Moody and watch the body control from Moses to swoop through De'Aaron Fox for the hoop. This time as the screener handing it off to Lindy Waters and setting the pick, Moody pops out to the wing to receive the swing and attacks swiftly to his left where he somehow finds the angle to get it over the heavy pressure of Alex Len's rim protection. So again we see Moses displaying increasingly polished finishing. As Pat Spencer and Trace Jackson Davis perform a kick and relocate, DeAnthony Melton sets the flare for Moody and the play works to perfection with Moses getting a clean catch and shoot. But if you're a Warrior fan, you have to love how unfazed Moody is even when Terry Taylor closes out hard as he stays poised in his follow through. On this action with Jackson Davis, note Moody's speed to beat Taylor off the dribble, seamlessly split the help of Isaiah Crawford, and he resembles Stephen Curry with this quick twitch off balance finish. There were many great signs from Moody in this outing in terms of evolution. It's only the preseason, but it's showings like these that should in all likelihood increase Moody's playing time for the long term in Steve Kerr's rotation. Kerr even said on record post-game that Moody's a quote-unquote rotational player. It's about time Moody gets consistent playing time, as he hasn't for several years when he's deserved to. Speaking of good signs for the Warriors, and this showing from Moody comes a game after they made 28 threes as a team, which would have been a franchise record if it was the regular season. This roster has a lot more firepower than it did a season ago, despite losing Klay Thompson. We'll see how things continue to progress for the Warriors as they wrap up the preseason, but their new additions and internal progression have revamped them as a squad, and that'll lead to less pressure being on Stephen Curry and Draymond Green on both ends of the court. This was your boy D-Flow, and I'll see you next video.